I'm Eddie Holder. I work for Ed Ray Products Company. And I'd like to take just a few minutes today to kind of show you some things to do with your equipment. First thing would be the razor blade. Always use your cover. Leave your cover on it at all times when you're not using it. I'm going to show you how to replace the razor blade inside. It has a lock clip on one side. Push that up, push it through. Grab it on the far end, not on the blade, on the edge. Pull the retainer out that holds the blade. Take the blade off. You can actually switch it around. It's a double side bladed. You can put the blade back in after you turn it over. Reinsert it back into the handle. Push all the way across. Push the lock lever down. That's how you replace your razor blade. On our pole, this is a new style pole. What we did was change over the brake and collar assembly. We were having some troubles with those with them too locking down. You've used them for a little while and then the collar lock and brake assembly was fused together. You couldn't get them on or off. It'd be too tight. The rubber lock assembly and the collar are two different composites now, two different type of plastic. They will not seize together like the old ones did. I've tried them in cold weather, hot weather, they will not seize up, not seize together. The Ettoray rubber, to change one out in the channel, We'll demonstrate that right quick. Grab your channel, lock it down with your thumb or your finger on the rubber section. Get on one end of the channel, pull the rubber from the channel, remove the lock clip, turn your channel over, go to the other end, do the same method. Hold the channel still, pull on the rubber, removing the clip, take the clip off, you can take the rubber out of the channel if you need to turn it over or replace it either way. Reinsert it right back into the channel. Then you can work your other side. You have two sides on the rubber. Reinsert the rubber. Extend your rubber out about an inch and a half. Replace your clip. This is what locks it into the channel itself. Squeeze, insert, turn it over to your other side, lock your channel down with your hand, pull the rubber out, lock the rubber with your finger, reinsert your clip on this end, and push it back into the channel. This changes your rubber out and you're ready to go. It takes about a minute and a half. The brass channel, the aluminum channel, and the stainless steel are all the same method of changing out the rubber. Ed Ray rubber is a natural rubber. It has no silicone. It's not treated. It's the best rubber on the market. I've been using it for almost 30 years. Have not had any problem with it. Ed Ray bucket, six gallon bucket. Has all the child markers, stickers, decals on it. They can come with wheels, without wheels. They also come with a lid tray to close the top of it. This would be your basic 18-inch squeegee with a standard handle. The aluminum channel and aluminum handle here is for a super or it's a super <coughs> squeegee. It's a little bit different, a little bit heavier. A lot of the high-rise guys use them. This tool right here is what you call a backflip. It's actually two tools in one. You can either wet the window and squeeze it at the same time, or you can backflip it, change it out, turn this handle around, and you have two squeegees, one to wet with and scrub with, one to squeegee it off with. Or, like I said, you could squeegee it at the same time you, you're mopping the window clean. Very nice tool. It eliminates having two poles, two people when you're scrubbing the window and squeegeeing. One man can do it all with this tool. This scrubber here, it's been out a couple of years, 
few years now. And the one we started off with, one that everybody is used to, that's familiar with, is the Golden Glove. This one here is the microfiber. The microfiber will actually scrub a little bit better than the Golden Glove. It retains more water, has more scrubbing ability. It's just an all-around better strip washer. You can take these off of the handle. Actually dismantle them, take them off. When they get dirty, they get nasty. Take them off. Take it out and throw this in the washing machine. That's all you have to do to wash it. That's just a basic idea on some of the hand tools, how to operate them, how to change a rubber, how to change a razor blade, and our new adjustments we made on our pole. I appreciate your time. Thank you. For more information, find us online. Visit our website at DetroitSponge.com or BrilliantWindows.com. Read the blog at blog.detroitsponge.com and follow us on YouTube at youtube.com slash brilliantwindows, on Facebook at facebook.com slash detroitsponge, and Twitter at brilliantwindow. Thanks for watching.